In this video, we look at the valuations of the TSXV mining companies over the past several years. Canadian Mining Report is not a financial advisor. This video is for informational purposes only and does not constitute investment advice. For TSXV Larger Gold, the aggregate comprises 12 stocks that have been listed since 2018, which excludes some of the TSXV's largest cap gold stocks which have only been listed more recently. The price to book ratio is used here for the TSXV minor valuations as data can be pulled directly from financial statements, making it more appropriate for tracking the sector over time than other methods like net asset value, which is a current estimate with many subjective assumptions, or multiples using revenue, earnings, or cash flow, as many junior miners have none of these. The gold sector price to book ratio picked up as the gold price jumped in 2019 and 2020, but has eased since, and has now returned to levels just above 2018, the last year of the previous gold and gold stock bear market. For TSXV Silver, there are six stocks in the group, and the movement in the multiple has been similar to gold, with a rise in 2019 and especially 2020, and then a decline since back to around the levels of 2018, although the price to book has been consistently below the TSXV gold stocks. There are seven stocks in the TSXV copper aggregate, with the group starting out in 2018 at about half the multiple of gold and silver, but continuously rising for the next three years, and in 2021 reaching a peak where the multiple roughly caught up with the precious metals multiple. While the multiple eased in 2022, it's remained roughly flat in 2023 and is still about three times the level of 2018. The TSXV Lithium Aggregate has 11 stocks, near the same amount as gold, and it surged to by far the highest multiple of any of the sectors in 2020 and 2021 on a rising lithium price. And while the multiple has dropped by more than half as of 2023 as the lithium price has plummeted, it is still well above gold, silver, and copper. There are six larger cap TSXV uranium stocks, and the sector multiple remained quite low through 2018 and 2019, as a secular uptrend in the uranium price was just gaining momentum. But it jumped in 2020 and reached a high in 2021, trading near the same levels as TSXV copper. While there was a pullback in 2022, the multiple has recovered this year to near its 2021 highs on a jump in the uranium price, which has substantially outpaced almost all the other major metals. For more information on junior mining stocks, click the link in the description or bio below to go to www.canadianminingreport.com.